Yeah, so I think, I think overall, I think we competed hard. Um, I don't think we walked out of there with the numbers that we wanted. I don't think our performances um, were indicative, uh, indicative of, the, um, of the effort we put. Um, but coming off, coming off break, I think um, you know, it gave us a good sign of what we need to work on to, to get better. Um, obviously, we did have a couple you know, really strong performances. Ashton Eaton in the hurdles and, and Tbilisi in the, in the long jump were things that we can really build off of. Um, but I think for the most part, I think when we got on the bus to come home, I think everybody agreed that uh, we have work to do. And we're, we're a long ways from being where we need to be in a month when we go to the Lone Star Conference meeting. So, Coach, if you look at the entry list for the Patriots, a lot of underclassmen, a lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores. What was it like getting those kids, for a lot of them, their first experience really under the bright lights at a facility like Texas Tech has and really just getting them accustomed to the collegiate track experience? Yeah, no, no question. We had kids that walked into that Texas Tech facility, and their eyes got really big. And then, and then of course, as they walked to the track, and Baylor's out there, and you know, some Texas Tech. There's some big name schools out there that they're going to line up next to. And um, so, I think we needed that experience for some of those young kids um, to get over that, because you know, our intention for our program is to be able to line up with those schools on a week in, week out basis. So. Um, I think that was important, and there's no question that a lot of the hiccups that we had this weekend were by freshmen um, in their in their first first big big type of meet. So um, just getting them used to that environment and and knowing that it's some of the stuff that they were able to get away with in high school, they don't get away with now. You know, so I think it was a, it was a huge growing experience for a lot of those kids, and I think this weekend going going to Birmingham, um, we won't have some of those hiccups that we had this weekend. Coach, you said you guys have a lot of work to do, but you don't have a lot of time to do it. You, As you just mentioned, you make a quick turnaround to go compete at the Sanford Invitational and meet that this program has come accustomed to participating at and having some success at. Uh, what are you going to do in these few days for preparation for that meet to make sure that you meet those standards that you feel like came up a little bit short last weekend? Yeah, I think you know, I think the big thing is is just um, tapping into and having, having some conversations about, you know, this kind of stuff and how you have to prepare differently and you have to warm up for your events differently and um, and understanding that, that you know regardless of what school we compete against they put their uniforms on the same way we do you know and they're not they're not doing any type of magical workouts that we're not doing you know so I think it's more of uh, on the on the mental side of what we have to prepare for um, our kids have worked really really hard now it's now it's the time where when they tow the line just trust the process, trust the work that they've already done, and just just go compete. Like you know, a lot of those kids have worked really, really hard to to get to a point now where this should be fun. And I think we have some kids, especially the younger ones, who step to the line and they're so nervous about failing that they don't put themselves out there. And a lot of the conversations we've had over the last day or so has been like, look, I, I'd way sooner see you stick your neck out there and let it get chopped off than to set in the back and knowing that you're not going to run these kids down, you know? So, um, so yeah, I, th I think, I think this will be a good experience for us. And, um, I think the, the bright lights should be over with, you know, I'm not exactly hundred percent sure who all's going to be at Sanford yet. Um, but I mean, we've lined up against Texas tech and Baylor already. So it can't be any bigger than that. Coach, you've got two provisional marks already in Abby Kratzmeyer and then Ashton Turner, and then you've got another athlete that is knocking down the door in Tbilisi. You know, what do those athletes need to do just to kind of keep it going, just keep setting up mark just a little bit higher each time they go out? Obviously, Ashton just set a school record, shattered the school record, really. Right. Abby's, I mean, she just improved her standing tremendously, and she's only going up from there as she finds her form. And then Tbilisi, obviously, you know, kind of goes in for a PR there and then is kind of finding his way. You said he fouled just barely on a couple jumps. So what do those guys need to do to keep it going and potentially qualify for indoor championships? Yeah, I think I think the thing is, so for Abby, it's just her continuing to gain confidence from her long run. Um, she jumped on poles that she hasn't jumped on since outdoors last year. Um, so getting acclimated to just, you know, having confidence from, from that approach. Um, and she had actually, she had some warm up jumps on Thursday that were uh, pretty massive actually. Um, so I think that's getting better. Um, you know, the thing that I don't want like to be seeing those kids to, to worry about is trying to run a time. 
you know, just compete hard. And, you know, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen, you know. And um, to BC has struggled in the long jump for quite a while. And so for him to, to, to break the school record and start showing some progress, like I said, he fouled, you know, two or three jumps that were, that were significantly farther than the one he kept. Um, it's, he just needs to keep competing. It's the first time he's long jumped in a long time, you know. So um, if they just keep competing hard, we're going to line them up against competition. And, you know, it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen for them. The, the more they press, the more it's going to be hard for them to get there. But um, I think Ashton took a huge step this weekend in how he competed and, you know, he had to run three rounds to get there. And, um, you know, and we have some other kids, too, that, that put up some really strong numbers for us. So they just got to keep doing, you know, be who they are and just keep competing hard, and it, it's going to work itself out.